Daily Readings for November 20th St. Felix, Confessor With St. John of Matha, St. Felix founded the Trinitarians for the redemption of Christian captives. He died in 1213. Our first reading is from 1 Maccabees, Chapter 1. The Persecution of Antiochus Epiphanes There grew a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes, son of King Antiochus. Once a hostage in Rome, he became king in the 137th year of the Kingdom of the Greeks. It was then that there emerged from Israel a set of renegades who led many people astray. Come, they said, let us reach an understanding with the pagans surrounding us, for since we separated ourselves from them, many misfortunes have overtaken us. This proposal proved acceptable, and a number of the people eagerly approached the king, who authorized them to practice the pagan observances. So they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem, such as the pagans have, disguised their circumcision, and abandoned the Holy Covenant, submitting to the heathen rule as willing slaves of impiety. Then the king issued a proclamation to his whole kingdom, that all were to become a single people, each renouncing his particular customs. All the pagans conformed to the king's decree, and many Israelites chose to accept his religion, sacrificing to idols and profaning the Sabbath. The king erected the abomination of desolation above the altar, and altars were built in surrounding towns of Judah, and incense offered at the doors of the houses and in the streets. Any book of the law that came to light were torn up and burned. Whenever anyone was discovered possessing a copy of the covenant or practicing the law, the king's decree sentenced him to death. Yet there were many in Israel who stood firm and found the courage to refuse unclean food. They chose death rather than contamination by such fair or profanation of the holy covenant, and they were executed. It was a dreadful wrath that visited Israel. From Psalms 119 Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. I am seized with indignation at the wicked, who forsake your law. Though the nets of the wicked ensnared me, I remembered your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. Redeem me from man's oppression, and I will keep your precepts. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. Salvation is far from the wicked, who are heedless of your statutes. I look at the faithless with disgust. They ignore your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your will. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have light of life. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 35 through 43. Son of David, have pity on me. As Jesus drew near to Jericho, there was a blind man sitting at the side of the road begging. When he heard the crowd going past, he asked what was it all about. They told him that Jesus the Nazarene was passing by. So he called out, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. The people in front scolded him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and ordered them to bring the man to him, and when he came up he asked, What do you want me to do for you? Sir, he replied, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight, your faith has saved you. And instantly his sight returned and he followed him praising God and all the people who saw it gave praise to God for what had happened. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. If you haven't already, supporting our channel is as easy as subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can be the first to know when we release new videos. If you like our content, please consider sharing it with your friends until then. Stay blessed and spread the word in your actions.